Hey guys, and welcome to Game Jam, and today we are playing Civilization. The original Civilization. I'm playing on DOSBox, and uh, I just wanted to relive a little bit of what it was like playing that original game. Now, when I played this as a kid, I didn't really understand a lot of what was happening. It took me a few iterations before I really figured out how the game was supposed to work. Um, but today, I think coming back after playing pretty much all of the civilizations that have come out. I'm hoping I'll come back with a fresh set of eyes and I'll be able to enjoy the game again and uh, see what it was like. So I, I kind of like that it already starts off with this cutscene showing you the creation of the world, giving it kind of like that epic impact. Uh, so it's not just, no, 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 it's not just, yeah, you're starting another game of civilization. No, 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 you're starting the game of civilization from the beginning. <clears throat> so we have our difficulties. I think I think I can handle Prince, so I'm gonna go with that. And of course, several and seven civilizations, so we get the maximum amount of enjoyment out of this. And as for civilizations, I kind of been picking random ones. I'm gonna do something different and try Egyptian. Different for me, anyways. It'd be Ramses, all right. Ramses sounds good. And I have irrigation, mining, ceremonial, burial, pottery, and roads. I really like pottery. I always love pottery. And I don't know why. I always really like pottery in Civilization. Um, so you can already see the basics of the game. It's not all that different from... I mean, besides, obviously, being, like, terrible graphics. But, you know, those were good graphics for the time, I, I guess. Uh, but it's not all that crazy different from the, the real... The Civilization 4. I'm going to build a settler, build a city, build a city, and there it is, Thebes, being founded. And if you notice here, I saw, what they do is they show you what the city looks like. So you get a little bit of the impact of what you're, what's happening when your city grows. Uh, and so you'll, you'll see here is that this has the same resource screen. screen pretty, it's pretty similar to what you might have experienced playing the other Civilization games. I've got my palace. That's, that's my, my, my one building. Uh, and this is telling me the uh, the unit. Now, this is, I think, a glitch. I don't think I really have another settler there. Uh, but if I had other units here, they would pop up here. Uh, so that being said, it's time to get started building something. I would normally go straight to granary, but uh, you definitely want some militia running around first. So let's get the militia going. And, and now we get to pick what science we want to do. I really like bronze working for the phalanx. Obviously, the phalanx is a defensive unit that can help for defending my cities. But then if I want to go on the attack, the wheel is really nice. So let's try the wheel. And we do the clicking. Oh, I totally forgot. We need to change the tax rate. So right now, it's 50-50. I want to go 100% science because there's no point in saving money right now. We're all in. Yes, the wheel. Look at that. No, it's glory. The chariot unit is actually really strong in the beginning of this game because it's a three attack and it's got two movement, which, of course, is really nice. The way this game works... Oh, geez, I don't really want to stay in place. Let's actually move around. So we're going to go like this. Explore. And there's a very specific pattern. If you have only that one block scene, you actually want to move around and show your tiles because if you don't see the tile... You're not allowed to take advantage of that resource. And this game doesn't automatically like show you the vision. It's like, nope, you can't see it. You can't, you can't use it. Doesn't matter. Um oh, we got another unit already. So let's change this to. I'm thinking I want to grow my city a little bit. Ooh, but having a tech. Wow, the cherry is 412. It's really, really strong. Uh, and we can already build it. And you know what? I realized we don't even have horses. I don't think this game had... You didn't have to own a certain resource in order to build that unit. So I can just build the crazy attacking unit and go nutso. Uh, let's try this. Because if I'm able to find a civilization and kill it, that's more the power to me. So let's see what we can do. Oh, what do you know? Speaking of which, there's the Russians. It's time to talk to them. I love this image. It's just so funny. I've already played three or four rounds uh, just to get a little bit used to how things worked. But look at Stalin sitting there. And this guy behind him is clearly not from the same era. He may not be from... He could be from Russia. Maybe. 
but I don't know. I have my doubts. Uh, he's asking to exchange knowledge right now. Uh, sure, should I do it? Yeah, it seems important. The Russians take the wheel, and we get the alphabet. Okay, cool. And now they're already... De He's already demanding stuff. Are you kidding? No. No. But now they're going to offer a peace treaty. And look at the guy. He's smiling. Yeah? You want a peace treaty? Uh-huh. All right. I'll give you the peace treaty. Okay, there we go. And now we welcome peace with the Russians. Okay. So now we get to pick a new technology to get. Uh, bronze working would be really good for getting a phalanx, of course. Map making if I want to build triremes and start exploring the waters. This is clearly the waters. I'm pointing to, like, nothing over here. The waters would be, like, over there somewhere. Uh, mysticism, I think, helps in getting me to governments. Actually, I think writing would be really cool. Let's do that. So we're going to keep going around. Now, it's also interesting about this game is that moving... Whoops, I need to be careful because he might be able to kill me. Oh, he didn't kill me. Thank goodness. That could, that could have been bad. Technically speaking, the, that city is completely defenseless. So if you were to be like, I changed my mind and I want to attack you, I would die. Uh, but you'll notice here I'm moving in diagonals. Diagonals is the best way of exploring things because the way the map is designed, um, you're basically moving faster moving diagonals than you are by moving in a straight line. You, you see more of the map. So here we go. Got some money. That seems good. Uh, now what's Thieves doing? It's still working on that unit. Can I buy it? No, not yet. Okay. You have to be really careful here. Oh, that unit's stuck. Really? A little bugger. Uh, and also, based on how these units work... Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I just don't like that my unit is pinned. That's awesome, though, that we got writing. Let's go look for... Let's do Code of Laws. Uh, the way... There's lots of little funny funniness based on having these uh, square... These uh, grid-style map. And what ends up happening is the game will not let you pass near a unit. Now, they also have that in other versions of Civilization. But it seems in this game it gets really easy to get stuck in a place and be like, Nope, you can't move. I think it's the computer has a tendency to follow you around. And even I notice when I'm fighting, I have a tendency to follow the computer around. It's just like, it's kind of natural to do that because you're exploring the location and you're keeping tabs on an enemy unit. Uh, so yeah, this guy, you know, we're just going to fortify him at this point. There's not, not much else to do. Another interesting aspect of the game that I actually think makes it a lot of fun is that you get to upgrade your palace. You basically pick what section you want to upgrade and what upgrade you'd like to see, and voila, you have that as part of your palace. And you continually upgrade that same palace throughout the rest of the game. And hopefully at the end, you have an awesome palace, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm so amazing. Okay, I'm going to fortify this guy here. Be safe. We're waiting for our chariot to come out. And now we get to go explore. Ah, there we go. So now the real question is, do I want to attack or not? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. There we go. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I got code of laws. That's really good. Booty hut for the win. That is awesome. So let's see what else we can do. Uh, monarchy is actually kind of cool. Let's do that. Get the next government. We can have a revolution and everyone will be sad than happy. I don't know. More money. That is awesome. The Russians have already been destroyed. Oh my gosh. Last time. Did I do the exact same thing? Wait, what? Uh, wait, hang on. Cancel action. I probably don't want to attack just yet. I'm, I'm being a little bit reckless. But then again, if I attack and win right now, it's game over for that unit. Let's do it. Treaties are for the weak. Oh, I got it. All right. So Thieves, I think he's building another chariot. He is building another chariot. 
and it is growing strong. Okay. We're looking around. I'm gonna kill off this unit. <gasps> the Russians wanna talk to me. What do they have to say? He's got more armies behind him. Wait, he wants to exchange knowledge? Aren't we in the middle of a war here? No. No. Prepare for war. Yeah, yeah, we know. We're in the middle of a fight right now. Did you forget? Yeah, there we go. Now, in this game, there is no unit health. So, I either win or I lose, and that's it. Oh, and guess what we've come up to? DRM. So, in this game, in order to make sure that you actually had a legitimate copy of the game and didn't actually go steal it from somebody, um, not steal it, let me take it back, you didn't copy the game from somebody, they wanted to make sure you had a copy of the manual. So what they did is they go, hey, go, go look in your manual, there's a tech tree, what's this picture, and what, what do you need in order to get this picture uh, as a tech? So, I'm going to go cheat, no, I'm not going to cheat, I'm going to go look at the manual, which I have somewhere around here. Where's my manual? There's my manual. Recycling, I think it's recycling. I'm assuming it's recycling. It looks like a recycling symbol. Yeah, I need mass production and democracy. So let's do that. Booyah! Now we can save my game, that's great, cool. Uh. What's important there is that if I fail the DRM question, they go, don't worry, you can keep playing the game, but all your military units have left you. <laughs> Which is basically debilitating enough that usually you'll end up dying. It's kind of a funny way of enforcing a DRM that like is like, oh yeah, well, you can, you can still play the game, but yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to play the game the right way. Um, let's do masonry. I want to see if I can find this last city before we call it quits. Because this chariot is on a mission, man. And this guy's going to die now. Yes! All right. And this unit can build... What can it build? Let's go to Hanging Gardens. No, actually, we should build some settlers, right? Settlers seem important. Eventually, you have to build settlers, right? Come on, all right. We are going to make it before the end of this. Uh, we re run into the Greeks first, really? Oh, man, look at that guy's hair. And he's like, I'm holding a baby knife. Okay, it's a sword. Alexander the Greeks. Uh, can we exchange knowledge? Sure. Why not? And we'll accept their peace treaty right now because I'm looking for somebody else first. And I'll welcome peace to the Greek. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh no, they found me. Sneaky little bug. <gasps> I captured my. Moscow! Woo! I like my troops going in. They got off their chariots and got their spears out. And they're like, yeah, we can do this. I got masonry for free. That was another interesting feature of this game. Oh, look at that. I destroyed the Russians too. That's what you get for trusting me? So on that note, I think it is time to end this, this, uh, this little adventure. I think that was a good run so far. If you want to see more of this, or if you just want, you know, like me, I always restart pretty much every time I start Civilization. So if you want to see me actually do one complete run where I go all the way through playing till I either die or the end of the game, let me know in the comments below. I'm also willing to try harder difficulties. Maybe we can try out the, the hardest difficulty and see whether how long I survive. I don't know. Just some ideas. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next uh, in the next video. Bye.